the ministry of throwing your thoughts away and believing the Word of God. The Good News Mission, preaching the gospel of the forgiveness sins to the uttermost parts of the world. In 1962, there came a heart to a poor young preacher. In a time of endless cold and hunger, in the prayer of the young preacher who held the word was a big picture he could not achieve on his own. When he opened his eyes, all he saw was a small, cold chapel. The Holy Spirit led this young man's heart across faraway oceans. As time passed, the hope for missions grew larger. And finally, in 1989, the first missionary from the Good News Mission was dispatched to Germany. But we had no connection, plan, or anything prepared. In this manner, another one, another one. We only believed in the Word of God as we sent the missionaries out. We only had God to place our hope in. There were many difficulties and limitations we had to overcome. New languages, new cultures and customs. There were numerous unbearable hardships in the difficult environments of the mission fields. But we overcame the difficulties and limitations through faith. The difficulties of the mission fields had us look only to God. We endlessly preached the truth of the blood of Jesus cleansing our sins. And there were works of salvation one by one. By faith, we overcame local deadly diseases. By faith, faith we protected the church when everyone left because of civil wars. By faith, we preach the gospel to the end, even amidst persecution from locals. By faith, we started the world camp around the world, something everyone had said was difficult and hard. Not through our shortcomings, but through the will of God, many youth started to change, and they rejoiced together with us. Then that faith led us to another path. The wisdom discovered in the Bible allowed us to take mind education and knock on the doors of governments all over the world. That was how we began to change countries one by one. Thirty years have passed since we first dispatched a missionary. We have established churches in over 100 countries across the world, developed local pastors, and are preaching the gospel together with them. The Bible Seminar is held in hundreds of cities across the world each year. The World Camp has become national youth events through the cooperation with many governments. Mind Education 
has not only in education, but also in government agencies, prisons, youth organizations, changed so many throughout. Each year, youths with the heart of God go to countries all over the world for volunteer service. They provide medical service, treating the bodies and minds of the people there. The performance which hold the true meaning of Christmas is awakening the spirit of the gospel in America. Now, we are meeting the heads of state of many countries, opening the Bible and preaching the gospel to them. The fruits of this was not the result of our hard work. It was the grace of the Holy Spirit guiding the gospel to be preached to the ends of the earth. Under that grace, we again, at this place God has brought us to, can preach the gospel powerfully to hundreds of people gathered there. Our fruit is the grace of God for the gospel alone. Now our ministry has entered a new state. We have begun the CLF, a gathering of Christian leaders all over the world to share the heart of God that has led us. In March 2017, the CLF began with 800 pastors in New York. Afterwards, the CLF took place in the USA, Hong Kong, Kenya, Brazil, and many other countries, and led tens of thousands of pastors to the gospel. The Lord absolutely does not fail. Yes, He was nailed. He washed away our sins perfectly. And so to testify that our sins are forgiven, He resurrected. We should not believe our own thoughts, but believe the Word of God. Pastors who had been wanting change and reform as Christianity continued to decline, united their hearts to be only for the Bible, the heart of God. A movement started to preach only the true gospel. Now, Various Christian denominations around the world support this precise gospel we preach and are uniting their hearts to participate in this ministry together. We dream. A world that becomes one through the blood of Jesus, which once and for all forgave our sins. We look forward to the work of God that will open in His grace, relying only on the Word and believing only God will work.